Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. It's a Monday, which means you're getting the Instagram roundup. A few things. One, this is new to us, so naturally, things are not going to work like they're supposed to. <sighs> and this week is no different. We did the Honda Civic this week where we got to do all that cool sundown stuff, but unfortunately, when I was doing my screen grab, I didn't turn on the microphone. There are a couple shots of the car that I could save. <sighs> I didn't get to save the whole thing. I apologize. Naturally, we'll, f we'll figure this out and they'll be better. Now, don't worry. The only reason why we're getting this on a Monday is because... It's summer vacation, which means the kids here, we're having fun. We're doing lots of neat things on the weekend, which is just one day, which is Sunday. But once that's all over, we'll get back to normal. But in the meantime, go head over to The Boring Life of Dean and Haley. And you can check us out and what we're doing on the Sunday and why you're not getting that cool install diary on Monday. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We hope you enjoy this and let's get back to fun and excitement. On to the next one. <laughs> Good job, Fernando. <laughs> And we're live with Five Minutes with Five Star. Welcome to a Monday edition. How exciting is that? Fernando! Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm good. What you got going on over there? I'm doing my roll kill, you know. All right, can I get by? Hold on, let me yeah, yeah. pass Absolutely. over here. Oop. All right, so we got the roadkill action going on. What's going in this wonderful door? Uh, we going with the Flax uh, component set. All right, so yeah. we got a mid-base, mid tweeters base, mounted in the door. In the side. Um, yeah, fast rings, everything. And then over here, so we're changing it up a little bit. What we found is that a lot of the times this part of the door is rattling a lot. So for here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to roadkill this big white area. We're going to pull off this foam here, roadkill behind here, and other key areas on this to make it even more sound dampened. I guess that's the Dampening. word. Damp. Yep. Yeah. And then over here, what do I have going on? I got some stuff on my workbench. Oh, look at that. Audio control. So this is a Ford Edge. It has the, yay, Sony system. And it's a 2018, so there's nothing funky going on with this one. Yay. So that means back here in the back of the car, boom. There's that big factory Sony amplifier and these three little plugs right here. That means we can do a DSR-1. So right now we're working on it. This is the T-harness, or not a T-harness. There's no T-harness. So this is the harness here. And of course, we taped it up. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually lengthening the speaker harness because we're going to do the LC 4.800. And I know what you're thinking, and if you're not, you will be. Why are we doing this with a DSR-1? Well, that's because we're going to AR into it means we're going to plug in, bypass that factory amplifier. These guys aren't AR compliant yet. He likes the audio control amps. He also already has a DSR-1 in another car that we've done. So boom, DSR-1, LC 4.800. And over here, this is going to be where we've already got the plastic cut out for this. This is where the second amplifier is going to go. And that's going to be the one channel, the one. 1.800. Thank you, Fernando. Now, of course... We're gonna be working on this for a while. Yeah. This is just what's going on today. Another thing, tonight is Facebook Live. Yeah. Correct, we're gonna have Lori from Kicker on. She's been on the show candidly before. She just did this. Yeah. Hello, that's it. What's your thoughts on pro audio speakers, Fernando? Uh, I never heard them. Um, You've never heard pro audio speakers? No. That's all you did before you started here was pro audio no. speakers. No, no, no. Never, you're gonna go no. with I haven't heard them before? No. No, I mean, it, it's just loudspeakers. I don't like them. Yeah. How can I tune a Clarion EQ with my sound system without messing things up? Very carefully. Um, you know, they make a lot of RTA apps that you can download to your phone, like this one here. Audio control, of course, makes the iTest mic. Mm -hmm. Those cool things like that are there for you to tune. What is a good crossover point for six inch mid bass? We like to start at 80 hertz at 12 dB. Yeah. Sometimes we'll take it up to 24 dB. But 80 hertz is a good place to start. You may find yourself going up or down depending on the type of music you listen to. Play it without the subwoofer though with the type of music you're listening to. That way you can hear if it's too high or too low and then you can experiment from there. By going from 12, 18, 24, you'll also, cross, you'll also block out some of that lower frequency because it'll drop off a lot faster. Mm -hmm. 
so you can get more mid base out of it and have that lower crossover point. Anyways, tonight, 6.30, Lori will be on, yep. and we're going to start a summer contest. We're going to be giving away a free thing. It's going to be exciting. I'm yes. really excited about it because we like giving away free stuff, but you're going to have to work for it. But we'll tell you all about it tonight and how to enter and all that cool stuff, and anyone's going to be eligible as long as you do the one little task that we ask, right? That's it. Yeah. Oh, also, yes. what's going in this for a subwoofer, Fernando? Oh, hello. Come on, check it Almost out. Almost forgot. We were telling you guys you're going to finally get to hear these things. Tomorrow we should have this thing done, and we will go on, and we will let you hear him. So we had Sean, formerly of Wrightstar. He doesn't – obviously they closed, but he still builds boxes. We had him build us up a 212 sealed for the cool shallow mount squares that we've been well, talking about for a week yeah. now. And they're going in this car. As soon as the customer found out they were available, he was like, man, I want those. Sign me up. So we actually waited, 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 and it just worked out magically that yep. they came in at the right time. There you are, buddy. All right, guys. That's it. So what is it good? Okay. Minutes. So that's it. Oh, yeah. hey. Sorry I missed any more questions. But hey, you know what? If you have more questions, you can Podcast, uh, podcast. Cop yes, we're going to be filming a podcast later this week. Yeah. Definitely. If you have any more questions... Don't ask tonight because we're going to be interviewing Lori, mm -hmm. but don't worry. We're going to do a second show just like we did last week. We'll do a Correct. second show on YouTube later in the week so that we can take all your questions or sometime tomorrow we'll be coming back on with five minutes with five star. Yep. You can ask questions then. Have a good day, guys. Bye. We'll see you later. Dude, you look evil. What the heck, man? Welcome to five minutes with five star. That's right. We got five minutes. Let's talk. Check this out. Boom. So we just finished the Ford Edge. Those are those L7Ts, all set and ready to go. We have the LC 1.800. We have the LC 4.800. It's all powered off the DSR-1 because it's a Sony deck, so this was an AR interface. We got the Flax series. Let's get a wide shot here. We're all good. Ran 10 gauge out of this amplifier to those subwoofers. What do you think, Fernando? That's awesome. All right, let's take a look underneath the hood. So how's everybody doing today? We hope you're doing well. So for this one, because it's two amplifiers, instead of running a zero gauge and they're and they're separated apart, we went ahead and went with two four gauge stinger. We got them all wired up here, made the bracket, attached it into this bolt area here so that it's at a nice angle, it's out of the way. There's actually this giant space right here to add a bigger battery. So when he gets home, he's going to go ahead and actually pull this guy out. So we didn't want to use up this space for it. And this will move enough to where he can put the bigger battery in. That's pretty exciting. But nothing as exciting as what you guys have been waiting for. Right? We know what you've been waiting for. You want to hear those subs bang, right? Who does it? So we went ahead and put the back back together. That was amazing. Live, right? Let's go ahead and close this thing. Let's see what this thing sounds like with some bass. I feel like I'm Big B Wiz doing the whole thing. Oh, and congratulations to uh, to Derek. On? He's black. Oh, he got his he plaque got today. He's black, man. Yeah, 100,000 cool. plaque. Yeah. All right, kick the AC off so we don't have that blown in the mic. All right. We're just waiting for it to start up. We got our CD in. Use the sine waves and the switch to determine where the noise is coming from. Then you sound deadening material where necessary. It's just that easy. Next, use the pink noise track to
there you go. So that is, we're working on it. So that is the shallow mount tees chilling in the back of the car. Let's take another look at those. So this is straight up ghost grocery getter status, guys. So we got the 212 down firing here. We're thinking we're probably still gonna put a half inch piece of plastic on here just to get them off of this plastic a little bit higher. But there you go, set it back in there. Plenty of room yeah. for your groceries, suitcases, soccer bags, and all that fun stuff to go in there right. and to vibrate the hell out of your car. That's what How much time we got? Yeah. Oh, one minute. Oh, one minute county. There you All go. right, let's see. How do you bypass the head unit? Low pass filter. Well, this. That's a full question there. Um, you can't bypass a factory head unit. Uh, so, what you'd want to do is just turn the low pass filter up as high as possible if you're doing something like a Pioneer, Kenwood, something like that. In this case, the amplifier, these audio controls, you can't turn off the low pass filter. So we went ahead and turned it all the way up so that we could use the low pass filter built into the DSR-1. So you can do the same thing in your it, with your aftermarket deck as well. Just turn it all the way up. <sighs> all right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this five minutes of five star. We're going to go ahead and finish this guy up. Get it out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. What's going on guys? Uh, today we are live again and the five minutes with five star. I don't know why he gave me the phone. Because honestly, people ask because for you. They're like, like, I'm a fan of guy said I'm a fan of Fernando. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Let him let him talk. So I was uh, like, okay. Okay. So there you go. You talk. No no, but why would I have to talk? <laughs> so what's going on? What? See, and this is what I don't talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so it's what do we it. have today? Um, Hang on, let me switch the camera. So you're going to hold the camera, but I'm still going to do the talking is what you're Yeah, saying. yeah, yeah. Hang on. Okay. okay. Did, you, did you figure it out? There you go. I got it. What's up, Jose? Oh, gosh. Uh, so we have a RAV4. And, and what we wanted to show you today, because like any time we do something, we want you guys to get something out of it. We're, we're doing a new radio and we won't get started on that no but the only thing that worked in the car was the tweeters these no what, what should we call it no sound no, no sound yeah exactly <laughs> no, my spanish no uh, sound oh wow that was a good attempt to try i speak fluent spanish fluent fluent spanish so uh no sound okay good but Great. you have to like no you have to roll sound the yeah, yeah exactly yeah, like okay the R. anyways so what we got is this is the factory speaker it's got the cool little neo magnet on it and believe it or not all four of these are dead okay so we have our tone generator here and the only reason why i bring this up is because a lot of people are like oh you know it, it how is that even possible well i don't know but okay so here we go we have, we're touching, this should be going crazy. We yeah. have no sound coming out of this. Now, the only speaker that did have sound was the tweeter. So this guy... <laughs> tweeter worked. Now, we've gone ahead and we put some new Kicker CS in here. We're getting ready to put the crazy. back on. Yeah. Because uh, they, really what they were planning on doing was just adding in a backup camera. What are you, uh -huh. are you looking at? You're no, 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 you're good. You're good. Have you showing my shoes. I'm sorry. Because I'm trying to figure out what you're, you're reading the comments. <laughs> See, it's not that easy. Exactly. Okay, so switch it. There you go. So, anyways, show them what, what you did in the back. 
Okay, they so... They want to hear you talk. Well, we have a backup camera right here. Right there. Uh, this this car has like an angle bumper. Show them this. So... So there's no it's gonna it's gonna hard we cannot put it in the side because it's gonna be to the to the left side yeah so it's we be drill in the center we drill the hole there because it's just a skin so anyone that owns one of these sucks to be you because yeah. if you ever get rear-ended there's nothing there to protect you yeah <laughs> maybe the tire uh, the tire yeah probably. but then what about the the wires it's kind of hard so we're trying to put it right here on the back side but the only thing they're going to see that was the hitch so no i need help with an lc7i on a 2014 charger no signal comes out yeah because you need a load resistor oh wow that was right there in my yeah. face so you need yeah. load resistors you're not uh, getting any sound because you've taken the sound out of the radio that's the load resistors we talk about yeah. all the time mm -hmm. so you can go to any one of your pack dealers and you can buy some load resistors from them because pack sells them you want the 30 watt what 10 ohm resistors why don't we have it over here yeah or you can go to amazon i think we even list them on the dnf tool drawer yep right here those guys so you have to you have to use those in mm -hmm. order to fool the amplifier or the fa even the factory radio and fooling it into thinking there's still a speaker connected. Otherwise, for safety, it just goes ahead and shuts it off. Correct. But that's why you're not getting any sound. Uh, audio control is working on the AC LGD4 Chrysler. Mm -hmm. It's just not available yet. And Kicker is also working on their. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kicker is also working on those. We had them on the show when we had um, Carlos on. Yeah. Uh, but they're not available yet either, so you still have to do those. Now, those are going to get hot, so make sure you put them in a place. Don't tuck them in a dash. Don't bury them under anything. Put them in an area that is fully air circulation because it's a resistor. It's, what about it's the low. audio control LGDs? They're, those, that doesn't have enough ohm load that, to it. Yeah. That doesn't no. have enough of an ohm load to it to actually work on that car yet. So you have to, you have to do that. Uh, you guys install a ported subwoofer in a double cab Tacoma 2018 double cab with a window motor. No, we haven't. It's always been a small seal yeah, box. Yeah. Uh, 2016 Focus fake engine noise sound. Seven, How two, is disabled? Disable. Okay. Wow. Oh, uh, honestly, on that one, I have no idea. Uh, you probably no. have to either use Forescan. Here, yeah. Let you go ahead and shut mm -hmm. off your buzzer. Uh, you probably have to use Forescan or take it back to the dealer and have them yeah. unprogram it out. Because that's, well, it's 2016. If it's a Sony system, then you just want to use an Amp Pro or an AR, and it's not going to, it's going to negate it. Yeah. If you're just trying to add a sub, yeah, I'd still do Amp Pro um, or Google, because I know on the F-150s, there's two wires you unpin. Two wires. That's it. What's All right. Up? What's up, Drew? Anyways, that brings us to an end. Remember, tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll be live on YouTube, taking your questions, having a good time. Until then, you guys have a good uh, day. We're going to have a good time. Press end. Press Thank end. Thank you. Bye. Press end.